Dr. Dennis Miller, Dr. Lou George, Sue Land Oral Surgery. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us again. Our pleasure, Bill. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us, Bill. You know, one of the things that people keep putting off, thinking uh, maybe it'll get better, is wisdom teeth. But we're getting to that point that uh, people probably ought to make their plans and then follow through with them. This is definitely that time of year now, uh, you know, end of March, beginning of April, uh, where, of course, the snow is going away and people are getting into uh, their busy routines and getting ready for the nicer weather. Uh, This is also a very popular time uh, for wisdom teeth removal, um, whether it's uh, patients who are being sent for orthodontic reasons, patients who are now starting to experience pain with their wisdom teeth, or those folks uh, where our, our general dentist friends have finally gotten through to them and say, look, you need to get these teeth out before they cause any trouble. In any event, <clears throat> this is that classic time. So uh, absolutely, we please want you to reach out, contact us. We'd be happy to discuss uh, uh, treatment uh, plans and treatment options for you. And um, it's it's never a bother. It's always a pleasure. So please give us a call at uh, 605-335-1080. Or you can reach us on our website if you want some further information at www.sulandoralsurgery.com. Yeah, and I can jump in a little on that, too. There's a number of different reasons for the removal of wisdom teeth. Uh, there's orthodontic reasons. Sometimes they're inhibiting the eruption of other teeth. Sometimes they're uh, eroding the posterior or back aspect of the teeth that are joining. Um, sometimes they actually need to be left in a little while longer as backstops so the orthodontist can do their job right. From a dental standpoint, your dentist is probably looking whether or not there's periodontal problems that are starting or will start shortly, whether or not there's cavities on the wisdom teeth or whether or not they'll predispose the teeth next in line to cavities or gum disease. And then, of course, there's the oral surgery perspective. Are these teeth standing a good chance of erupting and crashing into the teeth next door and dissolving parts of their roots? Are they standing a good chance of forming a cyst? Uh, Are they just going to be in such an awkward position later on in life that once the roots do form, it becomes a monumental task uh, to remove them? In the kids, 14, 15, 16, somewhere around there, depending on the child and their growth, it's relatively easy because the roots of the teeth are about one-third to one-half formed, and that's the optimal time with the lowest complication rates, generally speaking. And you swell up for about five to seven days. Your muscles are sore for two or three weeks. In the adult, everything's double. And remember, when you're a kid or a young person out of college, uh, you have some time off. When you're an adult, you have a family, you have bills to pay, you have limited vacation time, and all of a sudden this is a much bigger economic hardship. Dr. George and I talked with everybody before surgery to make sure that this is the right choice for them. And sometimes based on the vocation of the uh, the student, let's say, or of the uh, the adult, or even the kid, sometimes we'll recommend not to have them out for various reasons. So it's not like we take them all out all the time. Story I remember is I had a gal who was with the London Opera Company, and they said she needed her wisdom teeth out, and I went, "Oh my gosh, no!" Because if you end up with a complication like a numb lip or a joint problem, that's the end of your career. So she went back to London six months later. Wisdom teeth really started to bother her, and she got a trip to come back because the Brits take them out differently than we do. They literally take a hammer and bang them into the tongue side and break the bone and have about, oh, 10, 15% numb tongues, which would be terrible for an opera singer. So anyways, this gal comes back, and this is probably the one I sweated the bullets the most because I had to take them out, and they were right on top of the nerve. You could After I was done, you could see the nerve going through the extraction site. Luckily, everything was fine. I look like a hero. But that goes to show you, there's reasons for taking them out, and then there's qualifiers maybe for delaying, taking them out early, or maybe not doing them at all. And that's what Dr. George and I are here for, to help you guide you through the, that kind of maze. But with the summer approaching, appointments will be limited. And so it's uh, time to think ahead two, three months, and see when you'd like to come and visit us. Dr. Dennis Miller, Dr. Lou George, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Let me ask this about your study club. That it seems to be pretty important to you. I had a chance to meet some of the folks. But uh, dental care in an area, being able to take care of the patients, do it in a way that everybody is educated to the best of their ability, seems to be one of the goals. Uh, Dr. Liu, can you kind of explain the study club itself and 
uh, why that has become so important to the two of you? Well, the study club, like any continuing education venture, is a chance to get together um, with a speaker and have them educate uh, uh, our our guests on, on certain topics and go into further detail on, on others. The way we like to do our study club is not only bringing in speakers who are very renowned in their particular field, maybe someone that uh, wouldn't be accessible otherwise, but it's also to get the whole group together. And that does not just include uh, our dental friends, meaning our dentists, orthodontists, endodontists, um, uh, periodontists, uh, etc., but their staffs. Now, that's very important to have, say, the hygienists or the assistants or um, front uh, desk people. They are hearing the same lecture so that we can all discuss uh, similar, say, uh, problems that we all face in every day regarding that particular topic. So, Yes, our study club is a chance for uh, folks in the uh, dental community to get CEs, but it's also a chance to visit with us and each other directly um, so that we can all uh, approach treatment uh, the same way and work together as a team. And as you know, in any branch of medicine or dentistry, teamwork is essential. And uh, Dr. Miller and I pride ourselves on that. The other thing you pride yourself in, and you're not afraid to put your hand inside the mouth of a tiger. How did all that happen? And uh, weren't you a little scared? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we've had the great opportunity of helping the zoo. And uh, recently, uh, one of our old friends, uh, the first tiger we operated on, broke another tooth. And so we had the opportunity to help out by doing a root canal again. And uh, it, I'll say the same thing that I thought last time is that uh, you're really focused on your work, like, sure, there's a tiger there and you'll never get that close to that kind of a, an animal ever in your life again, but you're focused on your work trying to do your best job, and so there's not really a lot of other time for dilly-dallying. You just you want to do the best for the tiger and you do your job and say thank you for the opportunity, and as far as I know, our patient's still doing well two weeks later. I always worry for about two weeks. <laughs> After you're out of that two-week window, you know... You did a decent job. And it's it's always an, an honor, uh, Bill, getting to work uh, with the zoo uh, whenever they call for uh, whatever one of their uh, their house guests is having an issue. We're always honored to, to step up and, and do what we can to help out. They're just beautiful animals, and it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity. And there are some great pictures that are available uh, on your websites that you guys have shared with social media. The Argus did a nice story on you. How do people find more information about some of the work that uh, might surprise people? Oh, absolutely. Like I said before, you can call us directly uh, at 605-335-1080. You can reach us on our um, webpage, uh, www.sulandoralsurgery.com. There's a lot of great information on there, including videos. Or uh, if you happen to be on Facebook, uh, type Siouxland Oral Surgery into the search engine, and our page will pop up. And that page is uh, very readily maintained and updated all the time. So there's a lot of interesting information on there, too, Bill. One of the things that I've had noted to me is if I have an emergency, how quick can you get me in? We will get you in that day. Uh, Dr. Miller and I take emergencies very serious. Nobody likes to be in pain. We wouldn't want to be in pain, so we certainly don't uh, expect uh, people um, uh, out in the community to be so, you know, to be to be thrilled about being in pain either. So you can uh, contact us, and uh, we will um, uh, get you in for an appointment that day, and and get you taken care of. Uh, that's a, a big part of our practice philosophy. Dr. Lou George, Dr. Dennis Miller, Siouxland Oral Surgery. Thanks for visiting, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Bill.